Well, and we're all invited now because she's so sweet to Kimberly's country home as she shows us around. Take a look. It seems like forever since you've been to my country house, but we're going to spend a little time inside today. Come on in. Because of the close proximity to the fireplaces, the dining room and the living room are definitely used more in the wintertime. Still, in the summertime, I do like to lighten things up and freshen it up. So one of the advantages of having your home largely the same color palette throughout is you can swap things around. So all of these pillows were at one time in the media room. They've come out here just to make it feel a little more summer and a little bit more fresh. And then the coffee table, you know, the more we entertain, the more I find that people really love to play with whatever's on the coffee table. So recently we did a City Line episode where I brought some games out and put them on the coffee table just to see what people were attracted to. Bananagrams right here is a crowd pleaser. I can't tell you how many times people ask me about our somewhat unorthodox seating arrangement. My husband and I discovered that we liked sitting face to face when it's just the two of us here. So we placed the chairs like this and inevitably when people come over they want to know how it is that we both sit like this. But it works really well for us. Now in the winter time we're both inclined to look more into the fireplace. So we have a different seating arrangement in that case. It just takes a couple of minutes to make the switch. In this area, of course, we live almost every single day, so it gets a lot of traffic and a lot of use. I love Tree Moore! <laughs> I love it! It's so much fun there. So, uh, as you know, Kimberly is here, but now we have the addition of two lovely gentlemen. We have Shai Luca Tomasi, Yannick Tomasi. Sort of like filling out this gorgeous panel. Who are you people? Why are you good looking and designers? I don't understand. See everybody. It is very nice. It's always a party. So, and it always starts in the makeup room. By the way, we, yeah. shot some, <laughs> we shot some behind the scenes video today, and Kimberly is in it. So, please go to our website for that, cityline.ca. We discuss really important and serious topics like we selfies. Do. Yeah. That's what we discuss. Should you or shouldn't you? Yeah. It was a hot topic. Let's talk a little bit about the seasons changing because the season is finally changing. So, uh, a lot of us like to make some changes in our homes when we are, uh, you know, things are warming up. You want to go a little bit lighter and brighter. We went to our viewers and I'll get to them in a minute, but Kimberly, what do you do? Do you change things up season by season? I do. I, I, I mostly I remove things. I remove the throws that are mm -hmm. hanging over the sofas and stuff like that. If I have two sets of pillows in the country, I have the luxury of space. So I have two different sets of pillows. So I throw some white pillows on the sofas. Yeah. So suddenly it's summertime mm -hmm. and I love that. But in the city, I can't possibly do that. So I have pillows that have one fabric on one side. That's my winter fabric and one fabric mm -hmm. on the other side. That's my summer fabric. And it took me years to train my husband. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you? Yeah. To know which side is supposed to be oh. out. Keep right? it on the summer side, yeah. please. It's summer. Oh, yeah. What about you, Shy? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I love, you know, the best part of the year is when the seasons start to change and starts to get warmer. And it's a feeling that you want to ensue not only, you know, outside, but you want to be able to bring it into your home. So yeah. add floral. I love adding florals into a space. During the winter, of course, it's always nice, but there's still something when you look outside and you're like, ugh, I know. it's still winter outside. But when you add them inside and you update the color palette, yeah. I like to update a color palette. Even if you're not going to change your walls, the paint color, I love a, a new coat, a fresh coat. Of it. it can be the same color, but I just find it actually gets a little bit more. The color is actually there a little bit better, and it's a little Intense. bit fresher. It's a little bit cleaner. Yeah. It feels cleaner. It just feels a lot better. So it's all about sprucing it up and using, you know, just touch ups. It's little touch ups. Mm -hmm. Floral, I got that a lot from viewers. Yes. Deanna said seasonal flowers, plants for centerpieces yes. and for uh, for entranceway. And one viewer, Paula, she says she changes every season. Winter, Valentine's Day, spring, Easter, summer <laughs> beach, fall, <laughs> Thanksgiving, Halloween and Christmas. She's is themed. Lots of she storage boxes. She, she must have a big house. Yes. She probably <laughs> has a huge mansion. That's, 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 that's what I do. That's, that's what, what you do. Are say, you for constantly For me, there's no season. Them? Whatever I feel like it could be every day, every week, every month. Switch it around. Yeah. And I, I have a small storage though, but I put a lot of yeah. stuff under the sofa, the bed. <laughs> You have to be really good about it too, because you do have a small space. You have to be really ultra organized, yeah, yeah. but it's good because it pairs you down. Yeah, but it doesn't take much to update the look of a room. We were talking about like yeah. florals and yeah. colors. It's yeah. just one thing that you need on the sofa, on the bed, mm -hmm. right? You know, and then you switch your area rugs from rooms. Sometimes people oh, get yeah, confused and they're true. like, 
oh, well, what a lovely new rug you have. I'm like, it's been in my house for three <laughs> years. years. Seriously, but it was in the guest bedroom. Yeah. So you kind of fool people. I like that. <laughs> well, wherever you live, it's always great to get out to cottage country. Of course, Yannick, you and Patrick took a trip yes. up north to Muskoka. Take a look. Yannick, I love a good road trip and what a spectacular view. You're right, it is. It's a gorgeous day, but just turn around and you'll see the real reason why I brought you here. This house has gorgeous interiors. This architecture is very impressive. Look at this beautiful staircase. This house was designed by Corey De Francisco from Muskoka Living. Well, even though it's a big house, it still feels so cozy. I have to admit, Patrick, it's really, really comfortable to be here. Maybe a little too comfortable right <laughs> now, but I really like the fact that they use that creamy soft white paint color throughout the house. And everywhere you look, especially on the walls, they use the beadboard and also on the ceiling. Wow, and those beams are lovely. I have to admit, they bring a lot of warmth to every space because this is something that they've used throughout the house once again. Now, uh, what about the furniture in here? I love it. I know, me too. It's very comfortable and I like the fact that they've created this main section right in front of the fireplace with the brick. It's gorgeous, but they have another seating area just across here, which I think it's smart because you can sit a lot of people, big parties. It's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, Yannick, I can see why you love this kitchen. Well, Patrick, you know me way too well. Great efficient design here, white cabinetry contrasting the wood over here and our good old subway tile but what makes it very interesting is they've done the darker grout here it's gorgeous and something that i've always dreamed of having is a screened in porch that screened in porch is a deal maker or breaker because if you have one and you're out there and you can actually stay out there when the black flies come and the mosquitoes yes. you mm -hmm. want a screen that is very smart great and space add a little patio heater and you get oh, another fantastic. month or two out of it it's good absolutely yeah. good. Good. so really nice that's casual uh, design there in that uh, cottage and that's what your clients were looking for yeah yeah it's very tailored um, very summery like people yes. when they go to their cottage they don't want anything stuffiness so they did a very great job with mm -hmm. uh, you know picking the fabric and you know it's still very rustic too which yeah. is very nice that's what you want you don't want it to stiff you mm -hmm. know you want it to go with your surrounding and what's going on outside which is Muskoka is so beautiful you know, it's, it's gorgeous a beautiful region here in Ontario and we're going to talk about rustique and reclaim a little later during the show because there's different ways you know you yeah. can go very far you can stick you know like borderline and get still get that rustic feel which yeah. was the case in that house well this whole idea of a more relaxed environment is actually uh, really nice for parents right across the country yes <laughs> because if your kids want to take their toy hammers yeah. and beat your table yes. up it looks like, like, like it was intentional yes totally intentional yeah. so we that was meant it. to be there. gorgeous all right let's put a break we've got more coming up at home next. Go with that.